So you export the reference image and then send selection to AI. So it's asking me right here where I want to save an image. I'm just going to create a folder in here called Figma export, select folder. All right, perfect. This is exactly, I was not expecting that. What is going on here? Hello everyone. So you've been using Illustrator, Overlord, or in After Effects, but you want to know how to export from Figma? It's pretty simple steps. You just need to install it on your desktop and I'm going to show you right now. Let's jump right in. You head up to figma.com slash downloads. And if you have like a, a Mac or a Windows, that's what you do. You're going to get, in my case, I'm going to get the desktop for Windows and it's right here. So I'm just going to click it right here to install it. Since I already have installed in my computer, it's going to open the, the app directly. But in your case, you just install it and you open it pretty much. Oh, so you have like Figma right here. I'm just going to start a, a new design file for now, because now we're going to have to install another software, which is the AEUX, which is this guy right here. So for now you head to the AEUX page. I'm going to paste the link below on the description as well. And so you hit the click download and then you download this, this version here. You can also download that for a uh, Mac. Yeah. All right, so this is the folder. You want to do that for After Effects. So you're going to have to download the ZXP installer from, from the A scripts plugin. You want to download it for Windows. In my case, I believe I also have that in my computer. All right, so inside the folders, you have like the Figma, Sketch, in IA, AE. You also have the option with the key bar if you have the key bar extension as well. So I'm gonna double click the IA UX and it will open it. You're about to install, okay. Install it. All right, successfully installed. You will find it under window extensions in the compatible applications. Now we're gonna have the part to do the, the same thing for Figma. So what it's saying here is to copy the contents of this one outside of the download location. And so right now I'm gonna go right here, uh, Figma, those two guys here. I'm just gonna copy this into my desktop. Important note, I don't wanna keep that in my desktop you have to choose a folder that you're not going to touch it and in this case let's see a better folder maybe in documents um so let's see here i'm gonna create like a figma i'm just i just copied the files in here so it's inside documents <clears throat> figma perfect so now plugins development manage yeah i think it works here as well if you click Import plugins from manifest. Yeah, it works. So I want to import from the documents. This guy right here. Boom. So perfect. It's in documents right now. Desktop. Bye bye to the desktop. Perfect. All right. So inside Figma, you click to create a new design file. It's the same. So now I'm going to have only one. This guy right here. Close After Effects and then open again. You have to have a frame like this. So I'm going to create one, 19020 to 180. All right, terrible color choices, but you got the point. I'm also going to change the name of this frame to scene 01, for example. So you select the scene. But right now, you just send selection to AI. And what it does, it creates this folder and it creates another folder with this with this shot that I named. And then the composition is inside right here. So we've got all of the files right here. That's pretty much it. So you say you have, you, you create like maybe like a storyboard or style frames inside of Figma. And you, you want to do the scene too. You just click it here. Yeah, and it's super fast as well. Scene two and scene one right here. If you want to just export one little thing, you select that one little thing and click and export it. It created another one. Increment the, the number, so scene three, 
and it's just the title so you export the reference image and then send selection to ai so he's asking me right here where i want to save an image i'm just going to create a folder in here called figma export select folder All right perfect this is exactly i was not expecting that what is going on here we created like the final ver the final look which is great we also have this mark as a guide layer so i'm just gonna put it back yeah you have all the files here and then you can animate it everything and that's a wrap that's it guys thank you for watching and hey if this video was helpful to you let me know by giving a like if you want to support the channel consider subscribing and if you go through any issues let me know in the comments see you in the next one